Hey guys, so I'm going to go over uh, making a table. This is going to be for our density experiment where we took some nails and screws and coins and we were finding their density uh, using a scale and the water displacement uh, method. So I'm going to uh, we're going to make a table in which to put your data. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is click on Excel, open up a new uh, spreadsheet. Okay, so this is the second table that we've made this year, so um, you should be starting to get familiar with the components of the table. I always like to put uh, a title. That's descriptive of the data that you're taking. And then uh, I always like to label my columns. So what were we measuring, right? Put one column in there for each dimension that we're measuring. Okay, so the first dimension would be mass. And don't forget to put the units. Second dimension is volume. Uh, and, and remember, we're using the water displacement method, so um, this would be volume before in milliliters, and then we'd have volume after. And then uh, we want to calculate the difference, which is equal to the volume of the object that we are uh, analyzing so this is the volume difference and then finally the the last thing you want to have is the actual density right so you're going to calculate the density and remember density is mass divided by volume which is grams divided by milliliters so the units are grams divided by milliliters okay so um, just going to put some data in. You can say uh, uh, trial number one here. Okay, so the mass of my uh, coins was uh, 15.1 grams. The volume before I started out with 21.3 milliliters. And my final volume was 24.7. Uh, now, let's do a little bit of math, right? And Excel can do it for us. So if we hit the equal sign, and then I want to get the difference, right? So I'm going to take the after volume, and I'm going to subtract from it the volume at the beginning, and so our volume difference is 3.4. Now, for density, we can do a uh, calculation as well, right? Remember, density is mass divided by milliliters. Well, what's our mass? It's 15.1, which is in cell B3, divided by the difference, which is in cell E3. And when we do that, we get uh, our, our density, which is calculated here. Now, notice we get all these crazy numbers at the end, right? The, the Excel is automatically going to give that to us. Um, but we need to take that down to the proper number of significant digits. And we're limited to the number of significant digits that's in our uh, calculation, our number that has the least number of significant digits. And so um, the volume difference here has two significant digits, and our mass has 15.1. These are the numbers that went into our calculation. We're limited to two significant digits because the volume is two significant digits. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to go up here, remember, the zeros with the arrow, and I'm going to click this. Oops, I want to give it less. So I'm going to take it down to 4.4, uh, which is our density. So the density of my objects that I was weighing was 4.4 grams per milliliter. Okay, so this is the data table uh, that you should have uh, for this experiment. 